Hello everyone, this video is about optical isomers and optical activity. The sugars which have asymmetric carbon atom, they show this optical activity. Coming to definition, when a beam of plane polarized light is passed through a sugar solution, the light may be rotated towards right or rotated towards the left. For example, you can see here there is a sugar solution and when light is passed through this sugar solution, the light may be rotated towards right or in clockwise direction or the light may be rotated towards left or in anti-clockwise direction. If light is rotated towards right, then it is called as the dextrorotatory. And here example is D-glucose and this D-glucose is dextrorotatory that can be represented as D plus glucose. So, this plus symbol here indicates dextrorotatory nature of the sugar whereas the capital D indicates the orientation of H and OH groups on the last but one carbon of the sugar that is glucose. In medical practice dextrose is used to treat low blood sugar levels or water loss without electrolyte loss. So whenever you say dextrose it means glucose solution. This is because glucose is dextrorotatory that's why it is named as dextrose. Come to other situation when light is passed through the sugar solution if it is rotated towards left then it is called as the levorotatory. For example D fructose is levorotatory and that can be represented as D minus fructose. And again here D indicates the orientation of OH and H groups on the last but one carbon of the fructose and minus symbol indicates that fructose is levorotated that means it rotates the light towards the left. So these two forms of a sugar that is dextrorotatory or levorotatory is known as optical isomers because these are the stereoisomers which have effect on the plane polarized light. Coming to third situation, when equal amounts of dextrorotatory and levorotatory isomers are present in a solution and when light is passed through that solution, that particular mixture does not show any optical activity. That means light is neither rotated towards right or left. That is because due to equal dextrorotatory and levorotatory activities, both will get cancelled. So, the net optical activity here becomes zero. So, such a sugar solution which has equal amounts of dextrorotatory and levorotatory isomers is called as racemic mixture. So, when you see the definition, there is one term called as plain polarized light. So, we should know meaning of this particular plain polarized light to understand clearly what is optical activity and optical isomers. Light produced by sun, lamp and candle is unpolarized light. So, to understand what is unpolarized light and polarized light, we should know what is light. Light is a electromagnetic wave. So, this electromagnetic wave is produced by electromagnetic vibrations. So, whenever these vibrations are happening, they occur in different directions, in various directions. For understanding purpose, let us consider that light is vibrating in vertical and horizontal directions. Unpolarized light can be transformed into polarized light by using polaroid filters. So, these polaroid filters they are capable of blocking one of the two planes of vibrations that is it may block vertical vibrations or horizontal vibrations. So, that it produces an electromagnetic wave of only one plane that means the light which emerges out of the polaroid filters, it has only vibration in one plane. That is, it may be vibrating in vertical or horizontal planes. So, such light is called as plane polarized light. Coming to meaning of optically active sugar, any sugar that can rotate the plane polarized light is known as optically active. 